Lifestyle medicine is the use of lifestyle interventions directed at the treatment, management, and prevention of disease. Hey folks, Dr. Keel here, and I want to take a few minutes to talk about vitamin B5, which is also known as pantothenic acid. It's a water-soluble vitamin and an essential nutrient for our body. It's required to synthesize a compound called coenzyme A, which is used to break down fats and sugars for energy. And more generally speaking, vitamin B5 is used by the body to help synthesize and metabolize carbs, fats, and proteins. It's also used to create red blood cells, which carry oxygen around our body, as well as cortisol, a stress hormone. Vitamin B5 has a variety of potential benefits. Many of them require more research. A few that I want to focus on that do have some evidence include lowering cholesterol and triglycerides, um, including LDL cholesterol, which is the bad cholesterol, and raising the HDL cholesterol, which is good. It may help with wound healing, especially after surgery. Rheumatoid arthritis, although the evidence is weak, it may help treat the symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis. There's a long list of potential benefits that have insufficient evidence but may help, so more research is needed. This includes diabetic ulcers, diabetic peripheral neuropathy, improving athletic performance, skin problems, alcoholism, allergies, hair loss, asthma, heart problems, carpal tunnel syndrome, lung disorders, colitis, eye infections, seizures, kidney disorders, dandruff, depression, diabetic problems, enhancing immune system, headaches, hyperactivity, low blood pressure, inability to sleep, irritability, multiple sclerosis, muscular dystrophy, and muscle cramps. The Greek root pantos means everywhere, which kind of explains why this vitamin is found in a very wide variety of food sources. This includes fresh meats, especially beef and poultry, fish, for example, salmon, many different types of fresh vegetables, whole unprocessed grains, and of course, as a supplement in a B complex. Deficiency is very rare, but symptoms include fatigue, insomnia, depression, irritability, vomiting, stomach pain, burning feet, and upper respiratory infections. Toxicity and side effects. Supplementation should be supervised by a physician, and very high doses may cause diarrhea and increased risk of bleeding. It does have some known drug interactions that you should be aware of. Tetracycline and a handful of Alzheimer's drugs, which are listed. The recommended daily allowance in adults is 5 milligrams. In pregnant women, 6 milligrams, and breastfeeding women, 7 milligrams. So in summary, it is a water-soluble vitamin and an essential nutrient, likely helps lower cholesterol and triglycerides, help with wound healing, and rheumatoid arthritis. may have many other benefits, but little research to support them. Many food sources, including fresh meat, vegetables, and grains, deficiency and toxicity are rare, and the recommended daily allowance is 5 milligrams for most adults.